With what you guys were able to do in the post, both of you, how, how refreshing was that after a game after you played Purdue where a lot of that stuff was, was kind of a struggle with how, with how, they, how big they are inside? Oh, it was just great to get back in the flow of things, but the best thing was just getting the win today. You guys are you're both from Ohio. This is the fourth or first sellout in this building in four years. You win comfortably. Big recruiting weekend. You're alone in first place in the Big Ten. Like, is this about as good of a day as Ohio State basketball can have? And, and I'm assuming it is. It's kind of an obvious question. But, but to be in this position, for you two guys especially, what this program means to you, just, just what's a day like this mean? I mean, like, like you said, this is about as good as it can get. You know, obviously, we, we are still very motivated. We have a lot of work to do before the season's up. Um, our goal is to continue to win and continue to play as well as we can. But at the same time, it is very nice to be where we are. Um, but we've, we've worked really hard to get here, and we're not going to stop working. Caleb, are you able to, like, for a few seconds anyway, like, take yourself out of the mindset of this is just another win and appreciate what a day like today was for this program? Yeah, it's just... It, like you said, it's just a perfect storm, kind of. You know, everybody's here to see us. You know, big recruits was here, so it's just the perfect storm. Obviously, the Michigan State-Purdue game ha ended after you guys started, but when did you guys know that score and that, you know, this meant, a win here meant top of the Big Ten? You so, saw what? When did you guys find out about what happened with Purdue-Michigan State and what this win could, where this win could put you? We knew they were close. Um, you know, before our game started, you know, they were battling. Um, and then when we got in the locker room after the games, when we found out. Um, but we knew, like, regardless, you know, if, if we're, we still kind of control our destiny at this point. I mean, we were tied for first in the Big Ten with Purdue. Um, technically, we're, you know, in first, but from a standing standpoint, they don't really count, you know, head-to-head you know, -head stuff. But, um, you know, we were still motivated, just motivated. We knew we controlled our destiny, even if Michigan State would have won. So. <laughs> Guys, what does it say about the resolve and the heart of this team that, I mean, you guys had to come back here and play a team that just took Michigan State to the last second, you know, a few days ago after playing on the road against a really good team in Purdue. I mean, what does it say about the resolve and the heart of this team that you guys were able to keep that laser focus and bounce back and just be able to, you know, obliterate a team like Iowa after such a big, momentous win Wednesday. I feel like it just goes back to what you said as far as focus. You know, we go through practice and we just, like I always say, it's just we focus on the next game. So if it's, if we play the Lakers tomorrow, the next game is the Lakers. If we play the Warriors three games down, we're just going to think about the Lakers. Like, it is, it's just the focus of it is just, it's always there. Just wanted to ask you guys about the shirts that you wore in the warm-ups today. Was that something that you guys decided on as players? And what was the message behind that? I think it was an entire program thing. Um, Coach Holman was talking before the game how the game of basketball gives you one of the greatest opportunities to develop deep friendships with people of all races. Um, and in in this country, everyone's equal, no matter what race, you know, what, you know, what skin your color, what color your skin is, or anything. So it's just a great way to represent, you know, what this country represents and how how we feel about stuff. Mike, uh, you had 10. The bench, I think, had 22 the other day. Musa had a big game. Did you just feel things maybe turning a little bit for you bench guys in terms of providing scoring? We know you've been really good defensively and rebounding and stuff like that, but to to score and contribute that way, just what's been different maybe over the last couple of games for you guys? We're just there to fulfill a role. Um, there's no egos on this team. We know the guys that are starting and the guy like Dre has been stepping up big time since Cam has been out. Um, you know, us guys on the bench, we're just there to keep things going and keep the energy up, whether that be scoring, playing defense, rebounding, whatever it is. We're just there to help us team, help this team win. Mike, you got a, a little chance for some redemption later in the game with that dunk. Um, <laughs> How did that feel to get that opportunity to have the second one go down? <laughs> I should have done the little behind the back thing I did in the preseason game. Nah, I mean I don't know. Doc has set me up perfectly. I just I didn't want the I didn't want to get the ball stolen, so I just went up from too far away and I just missed it. Um, but it was nice to get that little redemption. I mean I don't know. I was talking with Kyle on the bench. Like it's I don't know. It's just one of those things. Jumped from too far away. Tried to do too much. Uh, Caleb, uh, you kind of found yourself getting uh, good attempts. In offensive boards, you led the team with five. Did you, was it just kind of what the Iowa um, defense was giving you, or why do you think you had so many at, uh, offensive rebounds? Yeah, and I feel like I just took what the defense gave me, and I, I feel like I, we work in practice every day on trying to reject box out. So that was a big key tonight. And do you think that's a part of your game that just continues to improve? Yeah, I feel like it's getting better as the, as the year goes on.
know, you guys talk a lot about just next game, next practice, next whatever. Uh, but looking a little bit big picture, tomorrow CBS will unveil the top 16 teams, sort of a bracket projection. And I don't know, beginning of the season, how many people thought you guys would be featured in that? Are you guys planning on watching that? Are there any thoughts of like what that's going to be like tomorrow? Do you have, did you have any idea that that was happening? No. I didn't have. A, I didn't okay. know it was happening. I was. I was just gonna chill tomorrow. I yeah. Don't... I mean, go to church in the morning. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, I don't know. Like you said, no one picked us to be anywhere near this, and we're just focused on the yeah. you know doing today well and the next game. So we've got a lot of work to do. Things can still fall off the deep end. So we got to make sure we just maintain our focus for the for the rest of the season. You mentioned the next game. Obviously, that's Penn State. They came in here and and gave you guys your only Big Ten loss. Is that in your minds at all as you head to Happy Valley? It's there for sure, but yeah, it's definitely there. You know, I was just wondering, um, some pretty tragic stuff happened in, in your hometown earlier today. I was wondering if you heard about that before the game and um, just what your thoughts are on, on what happened um, in Westerville earlier today. Yeah, I heard about it when we were uh, eating. And I just, I just prayed on it. when we, we prayed before the game, and I just prayed on it. Guys, this is for either of you. I mean, you guys are now three wins away from guaranteeing a share of the Big Ten championship regular season title. I mean, I know Coach has you guys in like a laser focus, we're on to Penn State kind of mindset, but it, does it feel real yet that this team is just, like I said, three wins away from a Big Ten regular season title when you guys were picked to finish 12th in the league this year? I mean, I definitely think, you know, it's definitely in our minds. Um, you know, we've worked extremely hard all off season, all preseason, you know, all season just to be where we are today. And I think it just goes back to how well this team has gelled together, how good of a job the coaching staff has done coming in brand new and so late in the game and just helping us be able to gel like that and really love each other. I mean, that's just what it is. I mean, we just love each other. We have fun. We get along. Like, like I said, there's no egos anywhere. You know, we're just there to help each other win. And I think it goes to back how hard we've worked and keep how, how we've kept our focus. Speaking of having fun, what was going through Kyle's mind on that pass to <laughs> Dockage on the bench there? I think I saw Chris Holtman might have even had a little laugh there. Mm -hmm. I can't blame that on Kyle. We got to tell Dockage to sit down, man. <laughs> <laughs> he got to sit down. Last one for Clay in the back. Uh, we had some football players do a little dance here at halftime. I'm wondering if you guys would do the same, maybe at the 50-yard line. I'm all for it. Uh, hey, you can catch me on there. Up. Yeah. Set it up. You're Let's good. Sign yeah. me up today. Let's go. Let's do it. Y'all have seen the gifts.